What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to view your Ethereum private key. One of the ways if you, for example, created Ethereum wallet using MetaMask. And second way, if, for example, you actually used my etherwallet.com website and you created your Ethereum wallet. So first way, if, for example, you installed MetaMask on your computer and I'll show you this process from scratch. So I'm going to click on download and then install and then add. And then in here, get started. And for example, if in your case, you created a new wallet, I agree. And here we had to come up with a password and then create the next. And then right here, we got our secret backup phrase. I'm going to reveal it and then next and then confirm. Okay, it's all done. So let's say you're sitting right here and you just would like to view your private key of your Ethereum wallet. We need to press on these three little dots and then we need to press on account detail and then in here export private key. Press on it and now we need to type MetaMask password, the one we created earlier and then press on confirm. And that's it. This is your Ethereum private key. So you can just copy here, save it and use it for whatever reason you needed your private key. Then let's minimize this. Let's open this. Let's say you went to this website, my Ethereum wallet, and then you press on create new wallet. And then right here, you press on software. And then in here, there's only two options, key store file or phrase. So if you press on phrase, and this is your backup phrase, memorize it, copy or something. And then I wrote them down. And now we have to confirm. And then verify and then access wallet. And then scroll down again and then press on software. And then we have to choose phrase. And now we have to type this entire phrase and then press next and then leave everything as default and then press next check mark here and then access wallet. And that's it. We have right now Ethereum wallet. And if you press on this little print account information, you can see right here is your public address, but it's not actually giving you your private key here. And if we go, to help center right here to knowledge base to read how does my ether wallet app handles private key. Basically, they don't allow you to view your private key or actually nobody can view private key. And even right here, it says that mean no one has access to them, including you. So the only way to access your account is to use actually that seed phrase or backup phrase. The one was given to you when you were setting up your account. And when you go back to account, you can see right here, this is your account information and you cannot view your private key. So I'll show you how to find out your private key. I found a way around. So we need to go back to MetaMask website. We need to press on download now, install MetaMask and then add. Okay, done. So right here again, press OK get started. And in here, instead of create a wallet, we need to import wallet. You press on it and you can press right here. No, thanks. Or I agree. I'm just going to press no thanks. And in here, we need to type our secret recovery phrase. So that's the 12 word seed phrase we need to type in here. So I'm going to type it really quick. And then you can press on here, show secret key just to verify, make sure you didn't make any mistake and then create a password and then import all done and then we'll do exactly the same thing what i showed earlier to view your private key you press on here account detail and then export private key and then type your password the one you just created and then confirm and there you go this is your private key 
from that Ethereum address, the one we just created from my Ether wallet. So to verify this, I just copy the private key and then I'm going to go back here. I'm going to press on this new, I'm going to open new page. And then in here, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to press on software. And this time, instead of using phrase, backup phrase, I'm going to use private key. Paste it here. And then check mark here and access wallet. And that's it. I just accessed my wallet using private key. So this is the way around to access your private key, but you have to export your Ether wallet to MetaMask using that backup phrase, the one was created earlier. And for example, if we go back to this tab right here, and when we press on print account info, and as you can see, it end with D799, I don't see my private key here. And if we open this tab, and I'm gonna try to print, you can see D799, so it's the same account. And this way it shows your private key or my private key in this case. While back when you used to create new Ether wallet, it would give you public key and private key. But now, for example, let's say you created your new wallet here. And then you use this address to claim your XRP tokens. And now you're trying to add Sunbird network into your MetaMask and you don't know your private key, you can retrieve your private key this way. Or whenever you're setting up your MetaMask, just use your seed phrase to access your Ether wallet. Hopefully this video was not too confusing. I know it was slightly complicated, but this is the way how you can access your Ether wallet in MetaMask. When you're setting it up, you can use your either private key or seed phrase to import your Ether wallet into MetaMask. And this is pretty much it. If this video is helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.